Today on Two Guys Too Many, we're talking brake fluid flushes. Brakes used to suck, now they're not going to. Went to the track, had a bad experience. Um, now we've came, make a couple more improvements uh, on the brakes. Um, as far as a different fluid, a uh, different pad. This is what we're using today. This is Modal 600. Um, it's a dot four racing brake fluid and it's racing brake fluid because it uh, has a dry boiling point of 600 degrees and a wet boiling point of 400 degrees. This is dot three that goes in my focus and it has a dry boiling point of 400 degrees. So when this stuff is brand new, it will perform as well as this when it's old and junky. Speaking of old and junky, this is what came out of my 08 R56 and it's probably the original fluid and it's it's super gross. Uh, it's supposed to be like like a nice amber color when it was new so we're flushing that junk. The first step is to suck all the old fluid out of the reservoir so that uh, you're not contaminating it with the the old junk. Keep in mind that brake fluid is corrosive, so try not to get it on your paint, which is why we're using these paper towels here um, to make sure that we don't get any. Uh, make sure we don't get any brake fluid on this paint because it will pull away the paint. Gross. Next step is to fill the reservoir with fresh fluid. It's important to bleed the brakes from the right rear to left rear, right front, left front. That's starting furthest away from the reservoir and working your way back forwards so that while you've got new fluid in the reservoir, it's pulling that new fluid through the system all the way out here to the caliper. So here we are on the right rear. To get to the bleeder, take off a little dust cap, move the wire out of the way for brake wear sensor. I've got an 11 millimeter wrench. It's going to fit right there. And a bleed hose. Go right on top there. So Floyd, if you'll give me some vacuum, I will open up should have some junk yeah see the bubbles and all that it's just bad bad news for the left rear setup is the same and uh, this time instead of using that vacuum pump I've got Floyd in the car putting pressure on the brake pedal so when I open this guy we should just see all that nasty Coming on out. Pump? Uh, I can. Yeah. Oh. Black nasties that come out. Yeah, that's what you're trying to get rid of right there. That's the bleeder port front right but it's the same procedure for for all of them so this is what came out of the front I'm pretty much just gonna leave it here out of the back I took two of these little cans but you can see right here in the middle this is all the junk as the the new fluid came down through the straw and filled up from the bottom up you can see where that junk is you can kind of tell it's darker at the top lighter at the bottom that's what you're trying to get out and that's starting to be new good fluid I'm gonna be bleeding my clutch as well and this is the bleed cylinder whatever you want to call it um, for the clutch so it's actually kinda of cool um, you can twist it with your fingers or maybe a wrench uh, but it's just that plastic little guy there. I 
again. So with all four corners bled, plus the clutch, the very last step, let's put on that cap.